The frigate Damavand was the Iranian Navy's most important warship on the Caspian Sea, a symbol of a modest but growing armed presence on the world's largest enclosed body of water and a force for Iranian flag waving in a region full of oil and natural gas reverses. But January 10 as she approached her home port of Bandar Anzali, waves and high winds forced her into a rocky jetty protecting the harbor. Damavand and Dina destroyer will be equipped with surface-to-air missiles and surface-to-surface -surface missiles, which boast higher speed, power and range than the earlier versions of missiles, and are easier in application and maintenance, Rear Admiral Amir Rastagari said on Saturday. The senior military official, meantime, announced that the propulsion systems of the destroyers have also been improved in a bid to bolster the Navy's reaction pace in critical marine situations. We have achieved the technology to manufacture phased array and optical radars, and we will install such systems on Dina and Damavand, Rear Admiral Rastagari added. The top commander hailed significant achievements of the marine industries by the help of domestic experts, he said that the mentioned radars have been offered to several foreign buyers, a number of which are among the industrialized countries. Highlighting the vital role the marine industries and the naval forces play in the defending the country, which is linked to the free waters, the military chief noted that the defense ministry has geared up to become self-sufficient in this field by developing different strategic marine equipment, such as new propulsion systems, gasoline and diesel engines, power transmission systems, and monitoring systems. Rear Admiral Rastagari stressed that destroyers and giant submarines will become a big part of the Iranian Navy's flotilla in the near future. Damavan was the second of three built and seven total planned Mauj class frigates, which traced their design to the preceding Alvin class, built for the Shah by the United Kingdom as the Vosper in the 1960s. The 310 foot long, 1,500 ton Damavan launched onto the Caspian in 2013 from Bandar Anzali. To underscore Damavan's symbolic importance, then press. Mohammad Ahmadinejad attended the launching ceremony with the Iranian Defense Minister and the Armed Forces Chief of Staff. Iranian state media described the ship as carrying four Kader anti-ship cruise missiles, each with a range of more than 200 kilometers, along with a 76mm Fajr 27 gun, and several smaller cannons, an anti-aircraft gun, two anti-air missiles and torpedoes. One of the most important pieces of tech was an onboard phased array radar, allowing the warship to see and track dozens of targets. One purpose for the vessel was training, as the Iranian Navy referred to Damavand as a training ship. The Caspian is also a highway for Russian power, and Russia's Caspian flotilla is the single largest armed force on the sea. As the world watched in surprise in 2015, Russian corvettes launched long-range caliber cruise missiles from the sea to targets in Syria, some 1,000 miles away, in an example of how the Caspian serves as strategic depth, a military term for the space a combatant can exploit beyond its core territories. Iran has hedged its modest military build-up with naval diplomacy, sending ships on port visits across the sea. Iran has also participated in joint military exercises in the Caspian with Russia, Azerbaijan, and Kazakhstan. Damavan was a key part of this strategy, as she, festooned in a banner displaying the image of the Ayatollah, docked in the Kazakh, port of Akdao in April 2017 along with the corvette Pekin. The Iranian Navy's flotilla is slated to convey Iran's message of peace and friendship to Kazakhstan, Iran's Fars news agency reported at the time. In 2018, 
the destroyer reportedly sank on Sunday, January 28, had crashed with Anzali Port's jetty on January 10 and suffered minor damages when docking at the port. Increasing wind speed and severe storm in the Caspian Sea was the cause of the crash, however, the Navy had declared it would be repaired in a short time. Damavan, a 100-meter-long destroyer weighing more than 1,300 tons, officially joined the Navy's Northern Fleet in the Caspian Sea in March 2015. More than 700 industrial, research and academic Iranian centers cooperated in designing and producing the military vessel, which was also a training warship. Experts at Iran's defense ministry had installed 25 homegrown electronics and communication systems on Damavan, including advanced naval radars and systems for communication, detection, and interception. Damavan was a Jamran-class destroyer with unique features to meet the demands of the Iranian naval forces in the country's northern waters. The advanced destroyer was capable of tracking aerial, surface, and subsurface targets simultaneously. Speaking at a ceremony held in the southern port city of Banda Abbas on Saturday to add the homegrown Sahin destroyer to the Navy's fleet, Admiral Kanzadi pointed to the crash of the Damavan destroyer and said ground have been provided for the repair of the destroyer in the Caspian Sea with the efforts of the Navy and the Defense Ministry. The repair process of Damavan will not last more than 18 months, he said, adding that the Navy will make efforts to speed up the process. The commander went on to say that in addition to the coming into service of Damavan, the country will witness the addition of Moj-class, Wave-class, destroyers in coming days and months. The Damavan destroyer crashed into a jetty on January 10, killing two sailors of the Iranian Navy. The accident occurred when Damavan was docking at port in Iran's northern province of Gailan. Increasing wind speed and severe storm in the Caspian Sea caused the destroyer to have a crash with the jetty. Damavan, a 100-meter-long destroyer weighing more than 1,300 tons, officially joined the Navy's northern fleet in the Caspian Sea in March 2015. More than 700 industrial, research and academic Iranian centers cooperated in designing and producing the military vessel, which is also a training warship.